Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy's Mark Wallum, and I'm taking you inside KSC. A good drenching brings NASA one step closer to the moon. The agency's exploration ground systems performed another successful test of the sound suppression system at Kennedy Space Center's Pad 39B in preparation for Artemis 1. During the test, the system released 450,000 gallons of water across the mobile launcher and flame deflector in a little over 30 seconds. The second in a series of three test events, these will demonstrate the water system's ability to subdue the sound made by the Space Launch System, or SLS, rocket during liftoff. In addition to softening the sound waves, the water will reduce the extreme heat and energy generated by the rocket. Following the first test event in July, teams made adjustments to valves for this round of testing. Once the data is gathered and analyzed, there will be one final water flow test before the agency launches SLS into deep space. NASA and SpaceX were awarded an Emmy for Outstanding Interactive Program for the launch broadcast of SpaceX's Demo-1 mission. Under the agency's Commercial Crew Program, SpaceX launched its inaugural uncrewed Demo-1 flight test to the International Space Station in March. Team members from SpaceX and Kennedy were present in Los Angeles to accept the award. The Emmy recognized the team's effort in taking a new approach to engage a broader audience blending traditional methods with social media for launch coverage. The broadcast was up against many well-known shows, Conan, The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, The Late Late Show with James Corden, and The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. And remember, Spaceport Magazine digs deeper inside KSC.